Hey everyone, I hope you're doing so well today. Glad to be here, glad to exist. I'm Franny, I'm glad you're here. And today I'm gonna to be talking about shoes. Shoes are really, I think, an important part of outfits. Like, they can really add personality, they can add interest, they can add some quirkiness or color, texture, structure to an outfit and affect the yin yang balance of the whole look and the overall aesthetic. So depending on what shoes you wear, you can really define your personal style. Personally, I tend to wear shoes that are a bit more um, thick, a little bit more chunky, maybe a little more tomboyish, sneakers, things like that. Personally, I feel like that makes all of my outfits just pull together the essence that I want it to. Today I'm going to be looking at a pair of, a couple of different pairs of shoes actually, two different pairs of ballet flats that I recently received from a sustainable footwear brand called Vivea. They're quite the interesting brand honestly. Essentially I was like you know what let's let me give these shoes a chance and try something that's a little bit outside of my comfort zone when it comes to shoes. So I'm going to be showing you two different pairs today from Vivea and thankfully they have sponsored this video and I get to try out their really comfortable and consciously made footwear. So I got two pairs of flats from them. They sent me the Aria 5 flats in this beautiful checkered pattern. Look at them. <laughs> I thought this checkered pattern was so much fun and so gamine, I couldn't resist. And then I also picked up the Macy Flats in Deep Peacock. And this is a color that I've absolutely been loving recently since coming to terms with my undertones. I have a video series on Patreon actually where I figure out what color palette looks best on me. I have a cool and olive undertone, so there's that. So I love, love this shade. It's a European size 39, which I think translates to an A. European size 39, US size 8. The shoes are actually made from recycled plastic water bottles that they've retrieved from the ocean. So with each pair of shoes, they're actually recycling over six plastic bottles from the ocean, preventing more microplastics from harming our marine life, and I think that's a really beautiful thing. They also use renewable materials like wool as well. So something I really love about these shoes is how comfortable they are and how they fit almost like a sock. They're really like bendy, stretchy, they like bend like this. They have a foam insole to them, and also the sole of the shoe is made from this herb that helps prevent bacterial stinky kinds of smells which I think is really cool. It's an all-natural artemisia insole to help prevent stinky shoes. It's got um, padding in the heels so you don't have to worry about blisters or anything and they really fit so well and I really wanted to put them to the test. I was like okay if they fit so well then like why don't I wear them on a walk with my dogs and so that's what I did and I took my my beautiful checkered shoes and I walked my dogs in them and they were so comfortable like it's a hot steamy Tennessee day and it was like almost as beautiful and good as being barefoot and that means a lot to me. <laughs> Those are just kind of the stats that I wanted to share with you about their sustainability initiatives and the comfort of the shoes that I picked up personally. Um, they're also an ethical brand as well and so they partner ethically with their workers and the people who make the shoes. They have all of their information on their website and they are very open when you ask them questions about their practices and things like that which I think is always a good sign with these sorts of brands. I think that's really beautiful and a way to keep brands accountable to the ways that they impact the environment and the people who make the pieces of clothing that they want to offer the world. Vivea has some beautiful initiatives with their work and I'm really grateful to be able to partner with them for this video. So if you want to check them out, um, I have a link down below to the shoes that I am wearing in this video. And then I also have a discount code for you all. It is FM15 and you can get a discount when shopping with my code. So definitely check them out and check out 
all of their different kinds of styles and things like that with their flats. They have boots, they have Mary Janes, they have so many different styles. So they even have some heels as well, some mules. Pieces are really beautiful and comfortable and they help the earth too. So that's pretty cool. So let's get into the style portion of this video. So like I mentioned before, I tend to wear shoes that are really chunky these days, like comfy, they're thick, bad grandpa sandals. I just love them. I can't help it. It was a bit of a change for me to wear a shoe that feels more dainty. What I typically end up doing is wearing very like feminine clothing <laughs> and then pairing it with the juxtaposition of that, which would be a more clunky, masculine structured kind of footwear. And thinking about that, I said, okay, well, these shoes feel very feminine. Like they feel dainty. When I put them on my feet, my feet feel like small and light. And so I wanted to create outfits that nod to a bit more structure, especially when it comes to my pants. I didn't want to wear anything flowy or wide or unstructured because the shoes themselves are so delicate. When I'm thinking about shoes, I'm not necessarily thinking about what shirt I'm wearing as much as I'm thinking about the pants because they're so close together that I would want them to support each other visually. That's something to keep in mind when you're trying to style shoes or you're wearing shoes that you don't normally wear. So I'm gonna be kind of looking at videos of me wearing the clothes so I can give you the best explanation of what I was thinking with each outfit. So with the first outfit, um, I was kind of channeling a bit of Audrey inspiration. As you know, Audrey Hepburn is flamboyant gamine icon and if you don't when I say flamboyant gamine if you have no idea what I'm talking about just peruse my channel for a little while and you'll quickly learn that I love talking about the kippy image IDs here I find it to be a really helpful way to explore your personal style and a really great starting point for learning how to honor your body with your clothes versus trying to correct or fix your body with your clothes. If you're curious about what your body type might be in this methodology, I do offer body typing consultations, how to use clothes to express yourself in a way that's harmonious and body honoring versus corrective and body shaming. Okay, I want to talk about this first outfit though because it was inspired by Audrey Hepburn. There's this one outfit that she wears that's basically the same silhouette where it's like a high-waisted cropped pant. It's a um, kind of boxy, almost muscle tee adjacent kind of a top, but in a different quality fabric. It's not like a t-shirt. And so she always wore ballet flats. So this first outfit is definitely inspired by her. I'm wearing the Macy flats with this one. Um, I just think this outfit is really cute. This is like, I call it my Easter egg shirt because it's got the stripes like a like an Easter egg. <laughs> I love that it has the high neckline, the high details, scalloping, it's cropped. It hits right at where my smallest point on my waist is, which is where I like to break my line. And then it has the same exact color green as the shoes. So I was like, I have to put it together. Um, I'm adding in something that's really special to me. This little purse is a, you know, cross stitch embroidered purse that is actually my grandmother's. So this is from my dad's side of the family. It's something that she used to carry with her in the 60s. And so there was one year that she just sent it to me and told me that I could have it. And I just think that it's so cute. And I just found it at my parents' house because I went to visit them recently. And it was in my childhood bedroom in the closet. And I just saw it and said, I'm bringing this with me. It is so cute. I like how animated and detailed and colorful it is. And it's in a similar enough color palette to the shirt that it doesn't take away or distract, but it adds that next level of detail that you need when you're a flamboyant gamine. And I think that that just really brings out the gamine essence. Between that and the shoes, I just feel like, yes. I also have this jewelry on. It's the same jewelry I always wear every single day, so I wear the same jewelry in each outfit because it's my they're my staple pieces. Um, I'm wearing most of them right now. Just the same old, same old brands that I love. So that's the first outfit. That's how I styled the flats. Let me know what you think. Here's the next outfit. It's very important to me because I am entering my Kim Possible era. I'm gonna do a whole video where I just style my cargo pants because I freaking 
love them. I wore them today. Their pockets are so big. I just love the structure that they have. They make my butt look really good with those back pockets. So um, again, I was thinking about the how, how did I want to break up the line and how did I want to add structure to this outfit? And so since the shoes that I'm wearing in this one are so patterned in this black and white pattern, I thought, what if I paired it with stripes? Because now we have like a horizontal line happening and then we also have a like a grid pattern happening as well with the shoes. Really a super cute combination. And there's a really beautiful juxtaposition here with the more masculine pant and the dainty shoe and the delicate stripe, but then sort of an industrial feeling fanny pack, you know, it's just, I love the juxtaposition of this outfit. I just think it is so balanced in all the ways that can mean outfit needs to be balanced visually. There's enough going on, you know, and enough broken lines and color blocks and all those things all in one. And I just think that it looks really good. Third outfit is basically the same outfit as before, but I changed the pants. See how just changing one element can create a different energy with an outfit. And Mila's in it. She's so cute. She was my color palette inspiration for this one. I think we really match really well in this. Now this look has a bit more of an elevated vibe, but it's still beautifully flamboyant and mean. I think that this outfit is super fun. I love the color palette of this. If you're trying to do more minimal flamboyant and mean looks, looks that aren't so loud, but this still has so much detail to it. It still has broken lines, still has contrast. It's just all within the same family of colors, which is black, beige, and cream. The belt really breaks up the line there at my waist. And I just think that this all looks really cohesive and thoughtful as an outfit. Again, the jewelry is the same. Very simple girl when it comes to things. And oh, get it, Fran. Get it, Fran. Get it. Mm. Okay. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. <laughs> I love her. I love her. And then the very last outfit is my favorite one. It feels so cool. Like just, it feels effortless. This would be like very Zoe Kravitz. I feel like she would wear something similar to this where she would have the oversized graphic tee, straight leg, 90s mom pants. A little bit of a looser fit and then have like these delicate dainty shoes to go with it because she's just so petite and I think that that pulls out that staccato vibe that the gamines need to have that energy that's just like a little bit here and a little bit there it's very like air sign it's very gemini it's very mercurial and i just think that this outfit is super fun i wore this one in particular after i was finished filming to walk my dogs so i have my little tote bag um, and this is something that I would definitely wear just hanging out with friends, you know, going on a walk, a little nature walk, or like um, going to the lake, or just something like that where I wanted to be comfortable. I love this bag as well with all the wildflowers and things like that. I think that's a really beautiful personality piece, and I feel like this outfit just shows a lot of personality as well with like the Looney Tunes vibe and like the, you know, Robin Hood Daffy on the back. It would be easy to start a conversation about this outfit. It carries a couple of different aspects of myself in it. And I just think that that's really fun. And then also it ties to, ties in the green from the shoes. Um, and then I swap out the shoes, show you that I can do the same look with a little bit more detail. With my checkered print flats, I kind of create another quirky element to the outfit. And I just feel like either of the shoes really can go with just about any of these outfits. But I just wanted to show you a few simple ways that I like to style delicate shoes and that's with something more structured or something that's more oversized. That creates the juxtaposition that I really love to have in outfits as a flamboyant gamine. All right, everyone, thank you so much for watching this video. That's everything I wanted to share with you in this moment. I think that this video is gonna be really helpful for you guys in multiple ways, one, in finding a new shoe brand that maybe you haven't heard of that you could really support and feel good about supporting. Let me know which outfit was your favorite in the comments. Let me know if you like the green shoes or the checker print. I really love both of them and I think they both serve different purposes. And again, thank you to Vivea for sponsoring this video and for sending me some shoes to try out and share with you all. Like I said before, my links 
will be down below and my discount code is FM15 if you wanted to shop with them and try out some of these beautiful and comfortable shoes. Also, I offer body typing consultations and personal style development services and so if you're interested in working with me and picking my brain a little bit, I have a couple of different ones that you can choose from on my website if you have questions about any of them or how to book a session with me then let me know, send me an email, and I'll help you figure out which one would be the best fit for you. There are many ways to support me. I'll put them all in the description below, and I will talk to you very, very soon. I'm really happy to be back with you all. Have a great week or weekend whenever you watch this. Be gentle with yourselves, and I love you. Bye. See ya. Wouldn't wanna be us.